I drink tempters instead of alcohol because five okay. calories or excuse me, 10 calories, I guess. Uh, and, you know, and I get a little bit of CBD, a little bit of THC. It's not going to move my needle, but uh, certainly I don't miss the alcohol. Uh, and I think that's happening uh, in a lot of places. So uh, this speaks to that category and also, I guess, low dose uh, gummies as well. Uh, and we've seen states already take moves to protect uh, both their tax revenues and the, con and, uh, the jobs for their constituents. Uh, California, uh, and that's now being challenged by Chi and Chong. As I as saw the lawsuit, yeah. And, 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 and you have new, uh, I think, New Jersey uh, as well, and, and some others. Uh, so they're going to want to, you know, it's taken these state level programs some time to get up and running. Traditional, <laughs> I think you're going to see some protectionism around that. Uh, but I don't necessarily think there's anything in this language that's scary for traditional cannabis. Um, you know, they all, you know, they, they, they specifically call out uh, synthetic cannabinoids, right? So the gas station weed presumably goes away, which is great because it's trash. Uh, but it protects semi-synthetic cannabinoids, which is to say it's derived from the plant. Um, and uh, that's going to have to fit within the frameworks. But uh, the only thing that the states must defer to the federal government on is labels.